Can you hear me? Hello? You are a better Adele than Dan. Is that... <laughs> Was that noise supposed to be Adele? What? Yeah, she goes like, Hello? Hello? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I kind of did whatever Adele was supposed to be doing. I don't know what weird vulture noise you just made. All right. I don't want to make Adele jealous because she's got her thing. Mm. I've got my thing. I'm not going to come yeah, and do her what's, thing. What's your thing, Phil? <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, life is just a quest for all of us to one day find our things, and I'm just so yeah. happy that you've apparently found yours. I have. So welcome to Cardboard Kings. Welcome, everybody who is flooding in right now to Cardboard Kings. Oh my god, Dan, in your rush to write Cardboard Kings, you spelled cardboard wrong. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what is wrong with you? God, bored. <laughs> bored. That was not intentional in any way. It's, it's too late now. I thought, I thought you were going to be like, Dad, you spelled the kings with a C, and I was no. about to hit you with the duh. That's a joke. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound good or look good, but that's me being funny. And there I am. I fully, I fully did that. I went full card board board cardboard anyway it's there now it cannot wow, be changed it's there and there's nothing i can do about it <laughs> you can't oh, that's um, a good start welcome yeah. to the dan and phil hour everybody i hope you're having a beautiful tuesday and if yeah. you ever feel like you don't have things together in your life hang out with dan and phil um and suddenly everything will be put in perspective <laughs> someone's already saying hello to us so they've not all logged off yet hi hello are we talking about dogs or what was that anya just roasting your adele impression essentially <laughs> i think it with might that been, hello yeah. i think it was yeah uh hounds are on the menu um not to eat but to talk about but we'll get to that whoa the hounds are coming who let the dogs out Woof, woof, woof. Uh, <laughs> so I was quite sad about uh, Box Boys winning the poll. So I was just like, let's just call it something else. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, Phil was like low key, like, um, I, I preferred Lockdown Lads, and then everyone voted for the wrong one. <laughs> yes. So why are we just changing the name of the show? I don't know. We're, it's a work in progress. Our creative flow okay, sure. cannot be tamed. I want to give a shout out to the people that are doing very cute, talented, gorgeous as always, uh, are based on our stupid chats on the Tuesdays and Thursdays. I've been seeing those on the, the Danville art accounts. Uh, and yes. this week's one came from uh, Dittle Japan, Day in the Life of Japan on Twitter. So thanks it for that. Uh, if anyone else does it, I'll check them out because that's cute AF. Thank you. Tag us in your Cardboard Kings art. Are you sure it's Day in the Life Japan? It could be something else. It could be like... Dan's... Dildos in the Lagoon. I, I like that I went for Dan and you went for Dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Do Dan's... they have lagoons in Japan? And what is Dan's... in the Lagoons? This is the conversation know. topic for today. If you have opinions on where Lagoons are... No, it's not. Them, no, it's please not. send us a message. It isn't? Stop. Okay. Um... <laughs> It could what? be Dan's, Dan's in the loo Japan, in Japan. I really, I, you know, after what I said, I just don't want you to start that with Dan and make it go <laughs> anywhere, to be honest. So uh, in the ongoing saga that is, Dan and Phil have nowhere to live. They're living out of boxes. He has three T-shirts. Um, yeah. We went to go visit our apartment. And we haven't been there in like, what, like a month? No, uh, we it's were been like, a while. It, we were like, it's, it's going to be done right. Like, it's done. We're moving in. We're, get, we're getting ready. We're going to have stuff and things in places. And then, I don't know if you saw my Instagram stories, but eldritch horror noodles falling out of the ceiling. Some guy was like, oh, yeah, this is just all the lights and stuff. This is normal. I'm like, bro. I was like, we were expecting, <laughs> I was like getting ready to put the boxes into a van. Yeah. And this no. is not ready. We're it looks be... like God puked spaghetti bolognese <laughs> out of the sky. I mean, I, yeah. I don't know what I looked at. It was scary. Some of the rooms are done. It's not all like that, but that room mm. was particularly like, yikes. Undone. What, yeah. what was going on for the last month? I'm not sure. So yeah. I think we're going to be box boys 
Cardboard Let's Kings nussle into this think. cardboard and to anyone who's enjoying these weekly Dan and Phil shows, well, yeah. I've got good news. There is yeah. no... <gasps> There's a spider. Sorry. Triggered. Oh my God. <laughs> I, sh- I shouldn't just say that when people are listening to a show. Stay yeah. where I can see you. This is spider away from me. This is well, this is, not, <laughs> this is not going to help Get my glass. energy. No. Get, I'm not... I'm, I'm, what? Put it, uh, because then you can keep an eye I'm on it. I'm going to leave it alone. Then, Look, we we'll need to stop talking re- about release. this because people find it gross. But I could yeah. be attacked at any moment during the show. So we'll we'll, we'll um, safely release the spider. Later. It's, it can join in. What do you think, spider? Oh, <laughs> I'm like Phil. Some people listening might not want to hear about this. Have respect for them, and you're fully doing salivating clicker noises. No, I was making it anthropomorphized like a furry spider, so then people wouldn't be scared anymore, because it's like big, it's huggable, it's like the sugar puff monster. You just made that so much worse. I know. Yeah, I apologise formally. uh, I'm sorry, I formally apologise. Nothing. (laughs) What's going on in your life? Stuff, because what's going on in our life? Nothing. Nothing. I saw Dan Yet. was playing the piano over on Insta Stories. That's just I a window scared. into. Yeah. That was that's that's like a window into what my life is like. Most days, like Dan is a, a piano machine. And what? <laughs> no, it's nice. It's like having a constant musical background. Why do I feel like life. there's a weird but? What point there's are no, you making right there's now? There's no weird. I'm just. I'm. I'm complimenting your piano. <laughs> so you're saying skills. I have a weird but? Okay. No. But, but like, what? But so there I am practicing <laughs> the piano. And yeah. what, Phil? It sounds nice. It's. It's definitely practice has improved you. That sounded also quite snide. I that didn't mean it like was that. was completely shady and yeah. unnecessary. My, no, my favourite band is obviously Muse. So to have you playing Muse in the house, it's like... To have like... me playing the first 15 seconds of a song for 50 minutes must be yeah. really fun for you. Although it's kind of annoying for Dan when I start actually singing as Matt Bellamy because then it kind of ruins the, the, the beautiful mm-hmm. yeah. tinkling. I was. Uh, I don't like the word tinkle. Um, <laughs> tinkle. So I've been learning a lot of classical music recently. I challenged myself to learn Moonlight Sonata, and then I was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna relax." Because the thing is with pop songs is they're quite short and simple, so they're quite easy to learn. And then classical music is like seven minutes with someone freestyle jazz soloing, and it's like complicated and they're all showing off. So I was like, "I want to learn some Muse." Decided yeah. Space Dementia. Looked it up. I'm not going to learn that in 400 years. I saw a bunch of people on Twitter going, oh my God, I can't wait until you play the whole thing. It's such a cool sounding song, Space Dementia by Muse. And I'm like, that would be a lovely thing to dream about. It Um, would, for sure. I was scared to post that. It was weird. I feel like people are judging me. Because that was just me practicing, right? But on the internet, when people post stuff, you know, it's the whole Instagram thing where people only share the best bits of their life. People only post the photos where they look nice, the videos where they're doing cool stuff, the stuff where they're at their most perfect. And I was like, here's me just slapping something on a Sunday. And I was like, hey, what if people are like, your technique is bad, but people were nice. So maybe that encouraged me to share more. Who knows what I'll share next. What will I be encouraged to post? What will it be? We've got another message. How's the moving going and how's your book going, Dan? Aww. Well, Aww. one of those things is going and the other thing is, is, has wires hanging out of the ceiling. And it's not my book. No. Your, your book is, I'd say, like if it was a percentage battery, how... <laughs> How complete is the book? Well, the book is written. We have been designing the cover recently, and I've been sending a lot of emails going, "Um, can you change the font to size 11.2 and move it slightly to the left, thank you? And some poor designer at HarperCollins is going, I hate this guy. Nobody cares. It looks the (laughs) same. So that's happening. And we've started planning the things that I will have to do and talk about when it comes out. And there are plans for stuff and content that are not just me talking about it. So, yeah, fun things are in the pipe. I'm excited for that pipe. Are you getting any more messages on your screen, Dan, from the coming through? Uh, not yet, no. So Not let's, yet. let's ask them a question. 
It's okay. Dan Day. The topic is to be set by me on this particular lovely evening. And yeah. I want to I wanna just address something and I want to get to the root of the matter. I feel like as Dan and Phil, we talk about a lot of things that kind of become these weird memes and we, we talk about them all the time, but there's always yeah. a lot of like weird vagueness and people never really know exactly what we think. So today the topic is Dan and Phil getting a goddamn dog. Why don't they have one yet? And yeah. what, is, what is the hold up? So, uh, Phil, if you want to change the, the question, I'm typing I it. want I'm you typing it out. to submit things to us. The question is convince us to get a dog. I want you okay. to just tell us why should we get a dog? And if we start expressing concerns about why we don't think we should, tell us to shut up and why we're wrong. This is your chance <laughs> this to is your get chance. that furry friend in our life. And I'm not talking about the spider with the cute uh, appendages or whatever <laughs> Phil was trying to <laughs> it say. Wanted to hug you. Visit us in our sleep. Do you, so, do you think we're responsible yeah. enough now? That's the question as well. Have we matured enough as people to have that responsibility? I think we have a serious side. We are functional adults. We're buying a home. Yeah. We're just, you know, complete bloody idiots that don't know how to spend all cardboard <laughs> the yeah. rest of the time. <laughs> but yeah, we can, yeah, we can maintain life. Hey, Norman the fish, I took that incredibly seriously. I spent hundreds of hours researching how to make the perfect underwater planted tank environment for this bloody fish that you wanted. And inflict it upon me. Yeah, I, you can I look did after a dog. The fish. Yeah. <laughs> I think that, you know, we will have to walk a dog, which implies a drastic change to our lifestyle, because, bro, we don't go out. No, we that's just the don't. We don't leave the house. Yeah, you the, need to walk a the, dog. There's the walking walk. the dog. But also, I feel like having a dog turns you into more of an extrovert because you've literally got to speak to people because everybody wants True. to speak to you about Oh, about my dog, dog is, seems to be nibbling your child's face. Ha <laughs> ha, so about the yeah. weather, etc. It's, yeah. it's licking your leg. Oh no, it's humping the other dog. And then you've got to talk to the dog owners. Yeah, oh, we've oh, got here our, we go. Our first input. Hey, I'm having orange juice. Are you having something to drink while you're doing this? <laughs> 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 that's not about the dog the nonchalantness of that yeah. uh i don't have a drink right now yeah Era. i'm gonna sound thirsty and crusty yeah i i at need some to get point a, in the next i've been getting i've been getting more into tea so yeah i should have had a tea next next lockdown lad slash box boys slash cardboard kings i'm gonna sip a delicious tea what flavor will the tea be um, I, I don't know. Maybe I had a licorice tea, but I'm a bit scared about it. Freak! What the hell is wrong with you? Just drink yeah, normal know. tea, weirdo. <laughs> uh, anyway, dog. back on the will back it be on the piping? Dog. Anyway, back I, on the dog. Um, back on yeah. the dog. Back on the hound. Uh, so I think it'll make you more of an extrovert because you've got to speak to people, or at least more of a scared introvert. I'm not sure if you can change. Like, can you become more extrovert? I guess. Um, also, I found out that I'm more allergic to hounds than I originally thought. See, I thought here it was we go. More cats Points of contention number yeah. one for the people in this debate class. Phil is horrifyingly allergic to fluffy animals. Once a cat slept on his face, nearly died. Phil, how can you ever get a dog? I know that's the thing, but the the dog allergy is not as bad. But uh, was it? I went to someone's house with a dog before COVID. And I did get a bit wheezy. And I was like, uh-oh, this is new. Why, why have I got this wheeziness? Turned out that the dog had, like, licked my hoodie and rubbed itself all over it. So that's probably why. But you mm. want to be able to rub yourself all over your dog. You want to be wanna... able to be aggressively licked by the dog. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Um, so there's that. I heard you could get something where they, like, inject little bits of dog into you. And then you become less allergic to the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, let, we so got that another message. Is it a comment on our first level or the dog? I'm actually trying to learn the piano right now. Hand oh. independence is so incredibly hard. It truly is. You really have to train yeah. your hand separation. And uh, Space Dementia is a terrible song for that because it's the same thing on both hands. But I'm getting there. And I appreciate anyone who wasn't like forced to play the violin from five, but has motivated themselves as someone who already has a potato brain that is incapable of learning everything like me. So shout out to everyone with a potato brain who is dumb AF and can't learn anything like me trying to play the piano. Let's just keep persevering. 
Yeah, for sure. So about back on the dog again. About injecting oh, got... tiny pieces of dog into you. Go on. Uh, <laughs> you, you let's be interrupted. Like let's be interrupted by a listener. Dogs are amazing. They cuddle and they're yeah. sweet. And yep. they make you go outside, which I know sounds bad, but they actually like give you exercise, and they're just best friends, and they don't talk, and they'll leave you alone if you want to be left alone. A best friend that can leave you alone sounds like someone's going to be replaced by a dog. <laughs> hey! I, no, I think I would be replaced by the dog. I think we'd both be replaced by the dog. We would only interact with the dog because it would be so exciting yeah, yeah i mean the main thing i like about you phil uh, in terms of living with you is just that there's knowing that someone else in the house in case like a demon or a ghost attacks or an axe murderer you know what i mean i'm not saying yeah. that i don't value you i'm just saying that the main value you have is actually you not being physically present but just the idea that you're there somewhere but preferably not around me immediately do you know what I mean? Dan, are you, are you saying you would throw me into the path of the axe murderer? I, Is that what you're I'm, I'm saying that you would trip into the path of the axe murderer. Oh, look, I'm being saved by the bell. Hello. Get a cat. Get a cat instead. They're less high maintenance, and you can yeah. leave them for longer if you, if you go away. Um, <laughs> and they're, like cool they're chill for like whatever you want to do pretty much okay okay they're chill for like whatever phil get a cat well, the off, thing phil. is what do you think i for a while was obsessed with videos where people leave their cats and then you watch like what the cats do so i always think cats are yeah. always plotting something mysterious and i'm obsessed that's just with factual it. yeah yeah and i know we talk about dogs a lot i am a cat person as well i, I freaking love cats i would totally love to have a cat as well but they make me wheeze to the point where I might die. So maybe if I could... <laughs> if you could maybe cat. get a dog, maybe. The cats are, like, definitely out to kill you. And not just in the usual cats are evil way, but, I mean, specifically, they're biologically engineered to choke Phil to death. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, I, I think I would like a cat, but we need to figure it out. That's the thing. But what about you, Dan? What's your vibes? Are you ready for some goddamn tea, people? Here's the thing. I have a fear of loss yeah yeah what if i Fear love the loss. dog too much then what phil well what well, how can you love something too much i would just i'd love the dog too much and then it would destroy me it would have too much power over me it would define my entire life and it would just be a terrible idea. Let's talk about the goddamn better fish. No, we? I'm the not ready. No one's ready for this. Upon our lives. When the fish was alive, which it isn't anymore, because it's a secondhand fish. It could have been 900 years old. We don't know, okay? We gave it a good life until it went out into the great, you know, aquarium in the sky. Whatever. Yes. I had nightmares about the fish once a week, at least. And this is a new experience. I don't have dreams where Phil gets murdered or eaten by a cat, okay? Yeah. Because either I feel like that's going to happen, so it's not ridiculous enough for a dream, because I know that Phil probably will get killed by a cat, either maliciously or allegedly, <laughs> at some point. But with the fish, I just, I've had such an emotional responsibility over it. I like two or three times a week, I just have nonsense dreams where i'm in a place suddenly oh it's the fish tank the fish is next to me the, f the glass is breaking the fish is on the floor i wake up oh my god horrible next night i'm piecing out oh wait what's happening the lids come off the fish is doing a triple backflip the fish jumped out the window the fish is a nearer window that doesn't make any sense the tank has a lid on it the fish is dead it has been months do you know and what i had a dream about last <laughs> night phil i had a dream Whoa. That, that we had the fish, and the fish was alive, and it was in like a three-meter bloody aquarium for some reason, and then a cat got in the fish tank. That doesn't even make any sense. And I was just watching this, I don't know, subaquatic avatar water-breathing cat, which doesn't make any goddamn sense, swimming around, trying to chase the fish. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. What, what does that Why? mean? Well, okay, a therapist would go, damn, you have issues with control, yeah there are you know you have issues with trust and emotional vulnerability and opening yourself up and you are emotionally vulnerable you have a relationship to this fish this is a fish if i had a dog what would happen to me would i ever sleep again 
Would I panic every single day of my life? This is my question to the people. What can I do about that? You want me to get a dog? I mean, I don't know. How do I, how do I get over this, Phil? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how you get over it. It's, it's a weird thing. But if you don't and like let any joy into your life, you've got to focus on the moments that you have the dog and not the worry about losing the dog. Because you otherwise... You've got to appreciate the love you have while it's there. Yeah, okay. You won't enjoy anything. That's mm-hmm. the thing. Um, um, yeah, ooh, another thought. Um, I, th- Hi. I think you should get a dog because, because sheep. There's no other reason, just sheep. <laughs> And Doge. <laughs> Just whoa, okay. okay. Doge. I mean, first, f- okay, okay. Firstly, yes. We need to say thank you. Secondly, pop off, Phil. Yeah. Is it Doge or Doge? Because I-, I think it's Doge, and I-, I did a poll on this actually, and it was more people said Doge over Doge. Thank God. It's like GIF and Jif. Are you ready for the real contentious conversation of the day? It's GIF. I know the guy that created GIFs. So they're pronounced GIFs, but it's the G stands for graphics. It's not giraffics, like a giraffe on the savannah, giraffic park. It's GIF! And um, I would like to think it's also Doge. I just think yeah. it sounds funnier. Doge sounds a bit French. Sounds a bit mysterious. <laughs> you know, Doge. It's just not the energy. Yeah. When I imagine the Doge meme, it just has very blunt energy, and I think it's like yeah. Doge. Yeah, it sounds clumsy. Doge, I don't know, it's a bit too mysterious. Yeah. I, I, so I think, in conclusion about the Hound, it's a, uh, we don't know. We're not sure yet. You could Would inject you say... tiny bits of dog into your eyeball, microdosing until you can eat the fur off a golden retriever, and yes. I need to simply go for years of therapy uh, dealing with deep issues in my life so I can learn to open myself up to love, even if I'm afraid of it. Um, yes. And maybe one day I can just, you know, get another fish. I don't know. All right. Well, some of your dog <laughs> Sounds messages... Sounds good. Okay. Some of your dog messages might flow through as we continue to chat. But oh, yeah. I did keep sending them in. Well, no, because I wanted to talk about something else, but we might have a mixture of Stop both. sending them in, but if they're yeah, already yeah. in, that's okay. If they're already in, we might still get them. So, I wanted to talk about something which I saw in the news, okay? Oh, and it- not the... Okay, this is... I, I know it's my week, but this is tangentially related to our own house property purchasing thing. Phil yeah. loves to read weird crap on the internet and inflict it upon us, so what did you yeah. read today, Phil? Well, for some interior design advice, I wanted you to tell us what weird features have you seen in a house? Like, what's the weirdest thing? In your grandparents' house, in your mum's house, in a friend's house... One thing I saw, haunted stuff, weird stuff. That makes no sense. Toilets in the kitchen, etc. I saw a picture from a house where there was two toilets in the bathroom side by side, and I'm like, what? (laughs) Why? Who's gonna just like? Well, it wasn't a bidet. It was two toilets next to each other. Next to each other. Ooh, okay. There's couples showers, and then there's that. I don't know about that. I was gonna say. Imagine if it's like a husband and wife, and they're like, "Oh, we both need to go at the same time. Let's hold hands, honey." Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, so (laughs) what? Oh (laughs) God! If anyone talks like that, they are the kind. What weird features have have you seen in a house? Bring them in to us via vocal message. Okay, I have a good example. Well, I need to use some hashtags. The yeah, Dan on. and Phil London apartment. Remember that? We just shouldn't have moved out of yeah. that. Do you reckon the, the construction and the gas leaks would have been over by now? <laughs> I, I think this probably just... I haven't walked we, up we, there We should have just stayed Maybe there. Just I mean, a, a, yeah. an exploded hole in the ground. If, <laughs> if that's a giant crater, we'll be like, oh, yes. that's, the gas got him. If it's still there, then we made an error. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah. that apartment was weird as hell because it was one of those old-timey, ye old London Sherlock apartment buildings that's like five stories high. I don't know how Victorian people lived. And yeah. our neighbours had a bit of roof that they could stand on. They had like a roof garden, bougie. And for some reason, I'm guessing it's like New York Fire Escape, they had a, th- a staircase that went up the wall into our kitchen so our neighbours yeah. had an, an outside staircase that went directly through our kitchen window. What the hell is up with that? 
That was so weird. And it was like, what if one day we're just like in the kitchen making fajitas and then we just see the neighbor's face hello. appear up like a titan, like a titan over a wall, just like, hello, I'm here. Um, so that was, that was super weird. I appreciate uh, the relic of however the hell houses have become chunked up in London over 300 years. But yeah. our actual experience of looking out the window and just seeing stairs and then some lady stood there smoking. I mean, I was like, this, this makes no goddamn sense. Uh, so yeah, yeah, stuff like that. That was weird. We've got, I'd rather not have got that a, access. We've got, a, I think, two dog thoughts have just come through. If like, you guys yeah, get a dog, it can scare off all the spiders, and then you won't have any need for <laughs> Phil's anthropomorphic spider stories. <laughs> that, hey, <laughs> very true. Hey, to chase them. Hey, no, I don't even care about the chasing. Just putting an end to the anthropomorphic spider stories. That's compelling. <laughs> so far, the most compelling well arguments have been sheep because yeah. And also yeah. you not talking. I like that. Okay, oh, wait. thank you. It's Let's back. Listen. It's back. Oh, it's we, there's there's more to come. There's more to come. I thought there was two. There was actually just one. Why? Okay. Why are you like this? I don't know. I'll play them as they come in. The next thing I was thinking was about the house thing, which is someone yeah. on TikTok called the, what was their name? Unfortunate existence. If you might have seen this TikTok, tag yourself. They just. They discovered a secret basement under the carpet nope. of their home after they heard nope. a humming noise. So they pulled up the carpet because they're like, what is humming downstairs? And there's a full freaking basement hatch in their house that they didn't know about. <laughs> and it, Who and they, they hears mysterious humming it. and then investigates? What the hell is wrong with this person? I know, it's crazy. Um, and they went down there and there was some weird stains and there was also a mysterious chair... Mm, weird stains. So I think it's like like a ghost chair. Well, that's absolutely horrifying, and this person is looking to get murdered. Clearly, um, yeah, I know. Uh, so that that's the moral weird. there. Don't be curious. If you ever suspect spiders or hatches, just set fire to your own house. Oh look, the we have dogs will scare away the spiders. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Do yeah. they? What if we get a cowardly hound? Yeah, some dogs are scared of everything. Like, you know, some dogs, they'll just, like, be scared of their own reflection or their tails or their eyes. Yep. And they'll just, yep. like, blink and that'll freak them out. I think that's me as a dog, isn't it? That They're going to learn absolute... from the owner. <laughs> that is you, yeah. You're going to pass ch- on your genuine anxiety about everything to the dog. Does a dog Does a dog learn from the owner, though? So if I'm worried about something, is it going to be like... <laughs> Um, probably. I think I'll pick up on your nervousness. Because yeah. you'll finally go outside if you get a dog. <laughs> I mean, that, I don't know why you're <laughs> laughing. That's, just, that's not even a contentious issue. This is a fact. We don't it go is. outside. We will. Yeah, that is it. Um, so I think that's the end of our dogs thing. So now we're going to get your house stuff that's going to come through as well. So that's exciting. What about you, Phil? Um, my parents had a cuckoo clock, right? And it was really creepy, and it went off every hour, and you could hear it throughout the whole house. What, how, every, every, what, how did it go every off? Hour, what noise did it make? It, it just went, cuckoo! But it's something that I got so used to, I didn't even every think about hour? it. Every hour? Yeah, so I could just sleep through it. But now I'm like, how In did the I night? sleep through that? Yes! <laughs> what, in a house that I went to a cast party in one time, there was a staircase going to absolutely nowhere. It just went downward, and then there wasn't a door. It was just a wall. Creepy. That is literally the most horrifying thing I've ever heard. Um, there's clearly a door there. You just don't have the extraterrestrial credentials to see the passageway. So yeah. there we go. A serial killer that's, or aliens confirmed. That's crazy. What is what is up the stairs? What is there? Why is the, why is it there? I think it must be a secret doorway, like a Harry Potter style one, and you just have to figure out the secret magic spell to go through there, and then you can hang out. You just Hogwarts. have to run down the stairs with a shopping cart at full speed, yeah. and then just see what happens. I want to hear some more of these, but as don't I think sue me. Slight, we've got a slight delay in the messages, so I'm going to tell you what the next thing is now, so that can come through as we keep talking about your weird houses. So the final segment is going to be what would Dan ban? So just submit things that you want Dan. Oh my god! To do ban. I finally get to do? I, do I get to live my fantasy? Thank you. I was robbed yes. last week. I have this dream of every Dan Tuesday doing a segment that is completely inspired by a really bad rhyming pun on my name. 
and that is the yeah. entire inspiration that there is no more thought put into it than that and i literally went dan ban so the idea is um i'm the overlord that gets to pass final judgment on the laws that you would like to suggest what are things that you don't like that you would like to yeet from this terrestrial yeah. plane you have so to pitch I did, it to me and i will yeah. uh express divine judgment i did sand last time and i don't think everyone was on my side with that I think most people disagreed. So that Dan did not ban sand, but if he was God, he could ban anything that we want to choose. So if you, if you come armed with redemption pitches other than sand, uh, I'm going to think of some on the spot as we're having. Oh no, you've got some sure. time to think. Basically, in my uh, granny's house, right? Yeah. At the end of her hallway, there's a beheaded Jesus statue. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I've never asked. <laughs> what, okay, are we sure it's what specifically Jesus? beheaded? Is it just like a nice bust? Yeah, maybe it is a bust. Like, a lot of busts have Not Jesus' bust, as in like a marble bust. Not like a boot, not like a breast. <laughs> not the breast <laughs> like, of Christ. That would be weird. Make, when people make a bust, is it because they're just like, I want to see the boobs or the abs, I don't care about the face? Well, okay, let's just quickly um, answer this. So I'm currently subject. in my grandparents' house, and it's yep. the house is over 100 years old. And there's just this door, this <laughs> tiny little door. Like, like think of like, like an elf door, like in The Hobbit. And it, it opens just like pipes or something, and it's so odd. And my parents, used, uh, my Ooh. mom used to go like, oh, it's for the elves. And it's weird. Don't say that. Also, this house makes weird noises. And it's kind of creepy. Okay. Um, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Firstly, your house is haunted and you are going to die. That's just, that's just yeah. get out there. Why would like you the say elf, there the are elf elves? Thing. No, that's creepy. I don't want them staring They're at you while you sleep. N taking they, the socks. Like, nibbling the small toes. Foot, small foot massages. <laughs> I don't know. That is that I is once scarring. saw... Uh, I once saw a photo of a toilet that was positioned right next to the door, but it actually blocked the door from opening properly, so they cut a hole in the door around the shape of the toilet. Well, then, did people what? just see that people in the toilet, or what? <laughs> what is that about? I mean, I, that toilet thing is weird. We've stayed in a couple oh, of weird hot hotels on tour, and a couple of the hotels are like, they want you to see each other on the toilet. Yeah, there's hotels where they just put, like, a glass wall to the bathroom, and it's like, nobody wants that. <laughs> no one! Like, who <laughs> would want What's that? What's with real walls that block sight, okay? Yeah, do you have, do you have a I'm, feeling, not, I'm not up for that. Do you have a feeling that in the design of our own home, we probably have made at least one horrifying layout mistake that we just didn't realise, and it's a total accident, like oh, a door sure. doesn't close into a toilet, and we have to cut a toilet-shaped hole in the door. Wait, do we have a toilet? I haven't thought. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> we, do, we do have a toilet. That's where I'm pooping on the yeah. floor. Oh, yeah. And the toilet is at the top of a glass plinth where everybody can see. Uh, <laughs> no one, no one. Before we remodeled our house, the house that I grew up in, it was built in the 70s, and the bathrooms had a gold foil peak <laughs> on the wallpaper. Ooh, so, what? Like, there was wallpaper that was like bright yellow florals and then gold foil peacocks. That wasn't like real gold, but it was so gaudy and awful. That would make me want to uh, proceed with my business and run out of the room as fast as possible. So yeah. I understand you know that what, aspect though? of it. I love a peacock. They're one of my favorite animals. They're so crazy. Remember when we were doing my photo shoot for, was it Try New Things? And there was yep. a peacock there. And I just... Yes. I, do you know when you haven't seen an animal in so long, you kind of forget it's real? It was like I was seeing a cartoon. I was like, how, how yeah. do you have so many body parts? If you don't really <laughs> become aware that peacocks are real and then you see a peacock, you will actually just be like, wow. What is this? That, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I love that What's peacocks can't fly. Me? When I was in France with my family, my uh, Colin chased a peacock and it... Uh, which, which we stopped it from doing, but then yeah. the peacock took flight. Peacocks can't really fly. They can kind of glide like knuckles. And seeing this thing with <laughs> like about knuckles. seven... Yeah. <laughs> yeah? What? Yeah, okay. Well, that's just like <laughs> or a, a, a paraglider or a squirrel, whatever. 
Yeah, yeah, like Knuckles. Shout out to all the 11 year old Sonic Deviant Art porn drawers. Um, and the peacock jumped up a rock and then proceeded to just glide elegantly. And if you've ever seen something whose tail is about 17 foot wide, it like eclipsed the sun. It was so weird. Oh I don't know how it gained momentum. And then it kind of just gracefully fell at a 45 degree angle. And I was like, wow, you have a hot, your ass is a parachute. Your ass <laughs> is a parachute. Great. Full it, parachute ass. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, that was quite an eye-opener. Thank you for all of those weird house features. I don't think we'll incorporate any of them, except maybe a big gold peacock on a wall. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd one. be up for that. Well, Let's you've do already it. got that weird gold pig that I'm gunning to throw out, so... Dan wants to get rid of the pig. The pig is an iconic piece of furniture. I um, think it's I'm just, writing, I'm just writing what would Dan ban. As okay. That is what's um, up next on the show, I'm, I'm just gonna put this out there. I mean, I said last time as well that our taste in interior design is quite different. I'm quite, I'm more you. minimal. I am quite yeah. stark, maybe a bit <laughs> yeah. harder. So I, I like you know the concretes and the dark colors. Phil yeah. likes a bit more of an actual pop of color, and I think we've reached a middle ground that's quite nice. But yes. the gold pig is definitely a, <laughs> a golden peacock on the toilet wall material. It's just too much for me. It's a golden pig. I love the golden pig. It can find a place. We've got some colours that I have suggested, and Dan's actually suggested a couple of colours as well, so he's not completely dead inside. Yeah, do you want to know one of the colours that I've suggested? Rust. I've already told the Rust. Yeah, it's like a nice rust red. Not like a bright red, but a rust a deep speckled yeah. sunset amber hue. Yeah, for sure. Um, right, so we're going to talk about what would Dan ban after that weird <laughs> rust Can I interlude. expose you? Well, for what? Phil, we you did this last this week. Last I don't know what you're going to say. Well, Phil had some suggestions because he was like, oh, well, I want to think about this so it can be funny. And then he deleted it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then today, Phil was like, oh, damn it. Okay, well, I'll remember that because that's some funny ones. And Phil obviously forgot until five minutes ago and is now just making it up on the spot. <laughs> hey, look, I've done, I've done like... That's, four, it's okay, man. That's, okay. I've done like five years of live radio. I can, I can blag anything. Right, you here we go. We've got one. Part. We've, got, we've oh, yeah. got one. I think Dan would ban leather trousers. Oh, okay. Oh, leather trousers. Would you? Would you ban them? Well, I'm trying to just be generally vegan now, so I, I don't want to get leather things. So many brands I like, designers, I'm like, oh, that's a lovely thing. And then it's made of leather or whatever. And it's like, why? Why just yeah. don't? Just don't. Just don't. Vegan leather looks the same and it's just not gross. Just don't. So um, are you going to ban and, it? Well, look, leather pants... Sometimes there is an aesthetic vibe to it, right? Biker pants. Yeah. If we're talking about the material, I don't think there's a, a need for it. If we're talking about the style, if you're talking you some can... cool leather biker pants, I don't think it's trendy anymore. It's not 2014. It's still valid. Yeah. If you said to me, Dan, what about leather t-shirts? I'm hoping that nobody here is an OG <laughs> that remembers various uh, trends and fashion crimes. That I would absolutely ban leather t-shirts. However, in the right context, I think that like the leather pants can be a serve. So I'm going to like not ban the leather pants. Yeah. Uh, I think I almost bought some red leather pants in like 2007. What? Yeah. What? They, they were like, because you remember the time when indie, when indie boys would all wear red pants? Were they like skinny? Yeah, they were like skinny red pants. And then I put them on oh. the rooms and there was so much squeaking. I, never, I, I never got them, thankfully. You're going to have to butter yourself up to get in or yeah. out of them. And thank, thanks to my... I mean, that would have got me more MySpace followers, I'm sure. I'm not sure who yeah. would have followed me because of that, but mm. there would have mm. been... They also make your butt look good, a leather pant, I would say, if you've got Do a nice they? butt. Okay. Oh, if you've got a nice look, butt, they would accentuate. I already know Let's half of these messages are going to say that Dan bans Phil, but Dan bans Phil. <laughs> <laughs> he would have Surely. to be otherwise talk about that. 
Based on the last half an hour, yeah, get in the bin. (laughs) (laughs) You are not providing a good case for yourself. Can society exist without Phil? Can Dan exist without Phil if he had a dog? Uh, Yeah. We're learning lots of things about this dynamic right now. So thank you for that. Spiders, just get rid of all the spiders. Why do we need them? They're disgusting. Thank you. Okay, firstly, that person's also called Philip. Philip with Hello, two Philip. L's. See, oh, that's no. a normal person called Philip. Yeah, that's the thing. You've got the normal Unlike name, your got the... obnoxious, showboating, look at me, red leather trousers of a first name. Yeah, I'm more of an ip, you're more of a lip. Uh, do you know what I would ban? <laughs> go on. Eyelashes. Eyelashes. Can we ban them? They just go into my eye every single day and I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> so I think I've you got just... A... I, I think I've got because a of your issue. genetic defect. Oh, you do. You do. This isn't a thing. Yeah. Phil has, I mean, he, you've talked about this before. Phil's eyelashes just fall out and they just go in his eyeball and then they go All behind the his time. contact lens and then Phil's in crippling agony randomly at any point throughout the day because his I'd own eyelashes fell into his own eyeball. Eyelashes are supposed to protect things from going in your eyes. They don't. Phil's are just, you know, sudokuing all over the place. Um, but Phil, would you like to completely ban eyelashes? Because I feel like if what you don't like yes. is things going in your eyes, that will maybe be more common if you just have nothing care. on your eyelids. I want you to ban my eyelashes. Everyone else can keep uh, them, but for me... That's an interesting pitch. I'm, I'm not going to ban eyelashes, Dan, but thank you. please ban brick sidewalks. They're Ooh. so easy to trip over. Oh my god, Yes. Yeah, I'm just one of those people that stacks it all the time. I think I must drag my feet across the floor. But you know when there's a, a bumpy sidewalk of any kind, <laughs> I will yeah. trip on it in public. And I'm so I'm so tall. I'm so long and lanky. When I trip in public, it's like a full on giraffe birth, and everyone laughs at me and the <laughs> Smith. You know what I mean? It's like oh, yeah. All the time, I'm just walking along. I'm already scared to be outside, to be mingling among the others, rarely doing my adventure into the outside world. And then when yeah. I do, I think there's a 50% chance that walking down any street, I will just come... I'll do that thing where my ankle wobbles, and then I'll just go... And then everybody looks at me like, look at that tall freak that doesn't know how to stand. I am yeah. banning brick paths! Yes. Boom! Thank that's you. Just, that's general tall person problems, because I'm exactly the same. Although I do like... Yep. Avoiding the cracks when I'm walking along a brick path. That's quite fun. <laughs> All right, let's get another. Let's move on. Silence. By the way, do you know that Hello Internet is um, it's trending on TikTok right now? I'm so sorry. What has... Are you, are you cyberbullying me again? Uh, is Hello Internet I mean, the, trending okay. on TikTok? Firstly, the answer to are you cyberbullying me again... <laughs> the answer is yes, but also, again, would imply that it ever stopped. So True. That I just answered my own question there. I wouldn't ban TikTok. Here's the thing, right? I don't hate TikTok because it's kind of like Vine, where the bad stuff gets a bad rep, like the, you know, the annoying Viners back in the day. But it, it's a new, and this is going to sound nerdy, I'm sorry, but the format of the videos and the way that people can collab and the templates can create new art and comedy and ways of expressing that is genuinely making a wave of new interesting content that people are running away with. I'm not on it because my brain doesn't work that way. I like writing a freaking 350 page book or a two hour stage show or a 45 minute long self-indulgent gay adventure. Not, I've, I, I can't do spontaneous 14 seconds at a time. It stresses me out, but I can appreciate other people doing it. Do I wish the app wasn't harvesting all our data and sending it to China? Maybe. But let the people have fun on the app. I'm not going to ban TikTok. You're not going to ban TikTok? I do like no. to watch TikTok. I just don't yeah. create TikTok. Exactly. Okay, next one. If TikTok and dies... Hang on. Broccoli. Oh, what? Sorry, what the broccoli pleb- interrupted you what, then. What a pleb tier <laughs> opinion. I'll get back to it. Okay, what was I going to say? TikTok. Uh, oh, yeah. You said it TikTok dies, dies. It will be like Vine, where all we'll have to remember it by are complications that were like, oh my God, iconic TikToks that uh, cured my hives. And then we'll be like, yeah, TikTok yeah. was amazing, man. As we watch a million freaking compilations instead of sleeping at 6 a.m. So I look forward to that inevitable future. Anyway, whoa. Who are you, a child? Broccoli is incredible. 
When I was young, I hated broccoli. That's because, yeah. frankly, parents in the 90s, they didn't know how to cook or season anything, and food was terrible. Vegetables, they just used to, like, boil vegetables. What the hell is up with that? You can't just, just boil nothing. a vegetable and put it on a plate. Granted, my taste buds have changed. I'd probably still like it now. But you can char grill broccoli. You can put some salt on it. You can put some garlic and some chili on it. Broccoli is amazing, and I love it. And it has done a complete flip in my life. I'm not banning broccoli. I, I'd agree with you there. You just need to put some seasoning on it, and then it's great. Or some soy sauce or something like that, you know? Not yeah, just, just <laughs> dip it in a, in a bowl of soy sauce. Oh, that's so it overpowered that it'll taste basically yeah. drink a shot of soy sauce <laughs> and then just eat a bit of broccoli and you'll be all I feel set. Like that might kill you for some reason do we need to disclaim maybe that you shouldn't do that I don't, don't do okay. a shot of soy sauce i would don't like do to ban marmite peanut butter thank you what Sorry, what is what is what is what that in the you just goddamn two things heck? i don't know what that is did you just say I'm i don't scared. know what I don't know what Marmite peanut butter is, but I would like to ban that because that sounds gross. See, I like PB and J. Phil doesn't. Controversial no. question mark. I like Too squishy. Marmite. Phil doesn't, but you yeah. don't like. I mean, that's fine. It's yeast. That's just weird as hell. Marmite yeast. and peanut butter. What would that even taste like? Stodgy Look, nightmares. <laughs> PB and J. It's weird. Like. Mixing berries with things is a very particular vibe. And I just don't think it goes well with the peanut butter vibe. They're so you different. You've got the like bread. You've got the salty stodge. berries. You've got the butter. You've got the salt. You've got the nutty background warmth. And then cutting through is the sharp jam. Maybe you just no. need less jam in ratio, Phil. Have you considered that? Who's going to get a, a bowl of strawberries? And they'll be like, oh, I'm going to put some salt on that. And maybe a little bit of peanut. <laughs> Wow, Phil's going. Phil's going it's, hard on the people. It's the day, same. Okay? You need to get yourself some crunchy Biscoff spread, Lotus Biscoff spread, because that is the closest thing to transcending to God I've ever had. It's literally like they, they should call biscuits. it orgasmic. They should call spread. it God spread. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're not talking about Jesus's bust. Um, and anyway, no. let's get another one. Salt and vinegar crisps. Salt and what? vinegar crisps. I'm what? sorry. Oh, honey. No. What? <laughs> salt and vinegar is amazing. Like, sure, some... It depends on the crisp. It can taste a bit sour or weird, but, man, there's just too many good ones. Yeah, I'm in shock from that one. It's, it's such a good tongue sensation. It's like your mouth is, is alive. Yeah. I feel very strongly about that flavour. Everything you've been saying has just had an edge of hostile, violent energy today, and I'm just going to observe that, and I want you to work on it for Thursday, Phil. And I'm sorry to softer. anyone listening who wants to just relax Life. on a Tuesday. Um, okay, I, I, I think when what's you talk, new? When you talk about deleting my favourite foods from the universe, I might get quite hostile. You're allowed to pop but off, okay. I, I will be more soft uh, on I'm Thursday. I'm salt and vinegar, sorry. Okay, Ban one more. Coronavirus. Thank you. I think that would be helpful. That... <laughs> Come on, Dan. You've had, you've had this banning power. Uh, yeah. You've had this banning power for so long. Do something with your power, Dan. Dan. Okay, I'm yeah. going to say, for the record, I am, I'm on board with banning the coronavirus. Yes. Uh, the good news is, thanks to scientists who are very clever and have worked very hard, we may be vaccinated soon. Also, if people just locked down um, earlier, this might not be an issue. So the irony is we all had the power to ban COVID. Uh, but thankfully, yeah. we've been saved by the smartest members of our society. So thanks, for sure. scientists, for carrying all this dum-dums through to another generation of being idiots. I'm so excited about the vaccine. Um, my... Where are you going to put it? I'm going to put it in my... I... Uh, <laughs> what? I, um, I... <laughs> I was trying to say something nice then. Uh, what I was going to say is my dad, I think my dad got it. My mum's about to get it. Congrats. Um, no, it's one of those things that I didn't realise I was worried about in the back of my mind, like my parents getting it. But then, Oh, totally. But then when I know they're vaccinated, I've got like a 10% peace of mind buzz. Yeah, so when, the, so when in six months, everyone's vaccinated, I'm going to be like, totally not worried about it anymore well i will be we are allowed to have a little bit of hope people i've got Feel some it. hope that's what i'm trying Tingling to say in the background 
Is it hope? Yeah. Is it a little spider sitting on your shoulder? Is it something happening because there's a secret door at the bottom of the stairs? Or you're sitting on a couple's toilet? I don't know. There's a tinkle. And in case it's hope, run towards it and embrace the tinkle. Run towards that tinkle of hope. I think that's a good place to end what we're done, Ban. Thank you for banning COVID. That's great. Um, I like that. We can that. tell everyone um, it's sorted. Let's look forward to whatever I rhyme my own name with and create a tangential stretch absolute reach of a segment with next Tuesday. Yeah. See you next Tuesday. But Dan. if you want more of this, we're going to be here on Thursday at 9pm. So and last time we did Who Wants to Be a Fillionaire? Which I was epic at, and then you guys you just, you just didn't help. You, you, you threw well, it under the bus. Have you, have you got something else in your sleeves? Um, yeah, my sleeves have got something. I don't want to spoil it, though, so you can wait and see what it is. Okay, uh, well, it's gonna be join good. us Thursday, same time. It's going to be it's gonna be a laugh. It's going to be a good hey. one. Game night with Phil. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. I've also heard a rumour that some of you aren't following us on stereo, despite being in the room with us. So if you're not following what us... What the hell? Click on Dan's profile, press follow, come over to my profile, press follow, because then you'll be entered automatically into our prize giveaway and you could win some stuff from A cube! A cube. So make sure you're doing that. Make that your next priority. And also bring some snacks on Thursday. <laughs> Get them ready. Next priority. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining us on this. I, I've quite enjoyed today. We've talked about some nice things. You've kept us company. I've because we, we don't have a dog or a ghost. We just have a no. spider and then there's just me and Phil. So I really thank all of you for joining us, sending in the messages. It's been fun. It's been nice. I'm enjoying this. And judging by the wires hanging out from our ceiling, we're not going to be uh, stopping anytime soon. So yeah. <laughs> thank you. Everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye. TTFN.